What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's your boy, Mad Stacker. And we're here because I'm finally adding some more silver to my stack. Hey, guys. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've added very much to my personal stack, at least not since that last big box hunt where I got all that silver that went in my stack, but I've got some stuff I do need to add to my stack. And first things first is going to be this awesome Batarang. Yes, I know mad stacker. This doesn't fall in line with stacking, but dang it, it's cool. And uh, I'm just super stoked to have one. I did pick up six of these. I usually would do an unboxing video, but I didn't have time and the People wanted them, so I had to uh, I had to make them available, and they all went. The other five all uh, went to the community pretty quick, and uh, just fun stuff. So this is definitely going in my stack, and you know once it goes in my stack, it never goes back. All right, next up, I've got from the one and only Marley and T. I traded her. The, uh, this is an old school round in there. I still have to mail hers off. I would start, typically start her a wallet because she, uh, she has stuff coming from me more often than I have stuff coming from her for sure. Um, so I haven't sent hers off yet. Ooh, this is my first. Look at this. Mad love. To you, my friend, T. This is my first T sticker. Hot T shit show. Viewer discretion advised. Love it. That is my first one of those. So that is pretty awesome. All right, we can get this out of the way. And I might reuse that. So you know how I like to do it. Let's see what we can get in here. We're going to figure it out. Here we go. That's some good bubbles right there. We'll use those again, too. Y'all, check out this Texas round right here. Tell me this ain't dope. Got the Alamo on the back there. The Lone Star State. Got all the flags up there. Sweetness. Of course, you got the oil rig and the longhorn there. And the star. Man, that is a sweet piece, T. Super, super happy to trade for that. So, basically, this cost me 35 bucks, Um Plus shipping, whatever the cost of her shipping is. That'll equal out. Alright, I also got some other stuff. From some game wins. A couple of these were like single wins. And then uh, one of them was like a 7 ounce game insane win. From Everyday Copportunity. So these are all also. I'll reuse that bag. Going in my stack. Here we've got a 1 Troy ounce steak. Nice little T-bone. I have no idea who poured this. If anybody knows, please feel free to let me know. I'm assuming it came from somebody in the community. Just somebody that doesn't have a, uh, what do they call it, a trademark? Somebody that doesn't have a stamp or some sort of something or the other. I believe this is a Monarch Metals. Uh, yeah, Monarch Metals, one ounce arrowhead. Pretty cool. Gotta love that. What else did I get? I got this Chris Kyle Frog Foundation Round. I did have somebody reach out to me wanting to buy this. And uh, I just, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't do it. So, uh, you know, because it's got to go in my stack and I don't have one. So, there we are. Now, the rest of these, except for this Don't Tread on Me, Boston Tea Party. 
there we go the rest of these are going to go the rest of these are going to go the rest of these are uh ases that one there's got a little bit of a milk spot on it some tiny milk spotting there a little bit around the edge but that is a 1994 oh here's another don't tread on me another boston tea party there So we got two of those. And this one is a 2020. This one is also a 2020. Another 2020, that one's got some toning on it. Looks like they might all be 2020s. I just told them, give me all, just give me ASEs. Whatever you got, I'll take them. Doesn't really matter to me. 1997. Oh, that's an 87. I don't think I have an 87. This is going to be new for me. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be the first one of those I have. Another 2020. A little Tony, but that one looks pretty good. This might be... This is a 1994. I think the 1996 was the year that they were, uh, uh, that, that's like the key date, right? So, we got eight ASCs, two Don't Tread On Me's, a Texas round, a Kyle Frog round, and two one ounce pour type pieces. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is going to go 14 ounces in the stack. Oh, I'm sorry, 15 with the battering. 15 ounces in the stack. And you know, once it goes in the stack, it never goes back. I will put uh, here on the video where my total is for the year. The goal was to get to 2,000 ounces by the end of the year. I'm somewhere in the 1,200 range. I am definitely way behind on my silver stacking this year, but, uh, you know, it happens. Sometimes uh, life can get expensive. I've had some, uh, I've had some changes at work and things like that that have kind of uh, made me have to be a little more frugal, if you will, with my everyday spending type stuff. You know, and I also want to share this while we're here. I got this from a friend at church. He wants me to sell it for him. Had to do some research, but this is uh, a Peter McKinnon piece here from Canada. This is a two ounce piece here. I don't know what that F 2.8 means. But this is from 2019. This is a $30 coin out of Canada. It's got all the little maple leaves in the field there and check this out so there was only 5,000 of these minted this is Moraine Lake which is clearly a beautiful place right as you can see on the coin I mean what a gorgeous place would love to be there and see that but what I thought was cool about this is uh, that there were only, if I can find it here, it's on here somewhere. Give me a second. So this is four nines fine, 50 millimeter diameter, total weight is 62.69 grams. So that is two ounces. Uh, oh, that's in French, so I can't read that. Limited mintage worldwide of 5,000, and they're individually numbered. This one is 564 out of 5,000, which I thought was pretty cool. Comes in this really awesome case here, Royal Canadian Mint. Pretty nice piece. So from what I could tell when they sold, uh, originally they were selling for like 90 bucks. 
Um, and I don't know if that was U.S. or Canadian when I found it, but from what I can tell right now, they sell on eBay for somewhere around 160, 170, 180, depending on, I guess, the quality of the piece. But uh, I told him I would do some research, let him know what I think I can sell it for, and then he would give me the thumbs up or not whether or not to sell it. So uh, I have done the research. I have not reached back out to him yet, but if he gives me the go-ahead, this can be yours because it's too expensive for me. Way too expensive. But some people have it like that and they can afford these amazing type pieces. So can't wait to see who ends up with that. It is an all around gorgeous piece. All right, boys and girls, 15 ounces going in the stack. Appreciate y'all being here as always. Thanks for uh, everybody that's been doing awesome on the train. Um, Big shout out to Hillbilly Samurai. This is my first train with him since he started. I haven't been on uh, because him and Big Red came back at the same time and I ended up with nine people. So I just figured, hey, I can still be the conductor and not necessarily have a video every weekend. And um, this week we have two folks off. Uh, Wild West Stacker and Stacks and Stuff are off. So we've got a special sub, hopefully... Uh, he did get back to me in time, but I've already put him on the lineup. So fingers crossed for Silver Bull 30. Hopefully he's on the train this week. He had reached out and expressed uh, an interest in being a guest or even a permanent um, fixture if we ended up with a spot. But, uh, you know, you always start as a guest and then, uh, you know, wait your turn. Somebody ultimately is going to, you know, move on. It, it It's part of life. So everybody that's here week in and week out, all you folks in the chat, thank y'all for being here and supporting this train. To all my conductors, Big Red, Wild West, Stacks and Stuff, Mrs. Coin Crew, uh, Will's Treasures, Hillbilly Samurai, uh, Pistol Packing Pilot, and Everyday Opportunity, who subs all the time. Uh, Ringmaster Ray's been putting out some great content. Just love each and every one of you guys. Appreciate y'all for being here for what we do every week. And I uh, can't wait to keep doing it with y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day and do not worry about fitting in in this community because we are all mad here.